Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a coupled linear structural thermal analysis. You'll create two load cases, one for the thermal solution and the other for the structural, including the thermal loads calculated from the previous one. First, import the heatsink.gda model. You can simply drag and drop. Go to structural under the physics section. Click on coupled and select all the bodies. Next, import the materials to use. Go to the Property Browser. Right-click on Material and Import. Select the material template included. The template includes copper, aluminium, and insulator. Let's assign them as follows. For fin aluminium, for the cylinder copper, and for insulator, assign insulator. Go to the solution browser and let's create our contacts. Use the auto contact tool to create tie contacts between all bodies. Right-click on contacts to review between what surfaces they were created. Create first load case. Right-click on coupled and select define using load case. Rename the subcase to thermal. Right, click on the type and change it to steady state heat transfer. Let's apply a temperature on the interior of the cylinder. Set the temperature to 150 degrees Celsius. Now our convection condition. First select only the fin surfaces. For this set the view to the ZX plane and use the rectangle selection as shown to select the fin faces, not including the symmetry cut. Set the temperature to 35 degrees Celsius and film coefficient of 1. Next, right-click on load case to create a new one, rename it to structural. We need to constrain our model. Select the fixed constraint. Using the cylinder filter, select the bolt holes and constraint it on all degrees of freedom for displacement. Next constraint is our symmetry condition. To automatically select all faces in the symmetry plane, select one of the bodies, Right-click and go to Select. Faces by Region. We need to set a plane type as reference. Go to Define Plane and use the Planar Face method. Select one surface on the symmetry plane. Select all bodies and hit OK. Open the Fix Constraint tool and fix only the degree of freedom on Z for displacement. Name it Symmetry. Right-click on settings under the structural load case. Include the temperature load from our steady-state heat transfer subcase. Right-click on any results and select update to start the solution. We first visualize our thermal load case results. Here you can see the temperature grid. Click on load case to change it to structural. 
we can start visualizing our stress results. Change the component from XX to Fawn Maces. Let's look at our displacement results. You can start the animation to visualize the displacement. You can reduce the amount of scaling on the right of the time bar as shown.